I know, I know, salsa is not a Thai dish, but today's recipe, I will make it happen. I will add a lot of Thai touch. Spicy! I will start with juicy ripe tomatoes. To do so, I'm going to finely dice them. If you got tomatoes the same size as mine, use about 4 to 5 tomatoes for 2 servings. Put your diced tomatoes into a bowl on the side. Then, finely chop the onion. The one I have is quite big, so I will use half only. I will cut all the way across the onion, but I'm not cutting all the way through. I like to use my hand like a crow to hold the onion to stay still. After that, use a knife to do 3 or 4 horizontal cuts going all the way through the onion, but not quite hit in the root. Then, slice the onion. And that's it! My easy tip to finally chop an onion. Now, let's bring it into the bowl. I went to the market and I met this lady. She told me she's from the mountain and she said her chili is very spicy. She grow it by herself, so I cannot tell myself to not buy it, you know. I will thinly slice the chilies. I will prepare a lot because I love chili. By the way, these chilies in Thai are called prik ka riang. In English, I'm not sure. Burst eye chili maybe? By the way, if you guys want to see the local market around Chiang Mai, you can go check on my pattern page because in there, I will post my exclusive video. Alright, back to cooking. For the garlic, I just mash it with a pesto and remove its skin, then finely chop it. After that, I bring it to the mixing bowl. The rest of the tomatoes, I will not put it back in the fridge, but I will grill it with medium heat. I'm going to place the ripe tomatoes into a pan, along with some red dry chilies. I need smoky and extra spicy in my salsa. so. I will let the chilies fry in the pan until the color changes to a dark maroon color before removing it and keeping it aside. But for the tomatoes, let's continue cooking them. Keep turning them around until they look soft and blackened. This process will give a nice roasted smell and flavor to our salsa. Once the tomatoes are looking good like this, they are ready to turn into salsa. It's time to bring the tomatoes to a blender and start blending it. After that, don't forget the roasted dry chilies for a spicier taste. Look at that! The spicy roasted tomato sauce are looking super delicious. Now, pour the spicy salsa sauce in the mixing bowl along with chopped fresh one. Since I cannot find lemon juice around here, I will use just lime instead. Add some salt, a bit of black pepper for extra spice. Before mixing, you can't miss adding the fresh chopped cilantro. Give it a stir until everything is mixed. This salsa recipe will give you a texture of fresh tomatoes, chilies, onion, garlic, and the very tasty flavors of roasted chilies tomato sauce. Once you have tried this, you can't stop eating it. Trust me. Actually, the salsa is remind me of one dish from Northern Thailand. It is Nam Plik Ong. If you haven't seen it yet, go check right here. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and shop that like button. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Khao Bye bye. I will enjoy the spicy salsa. Mm.